this was incredibly unfortunate and we're working through the process now, understanding exactly what happened. Hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage at the PE and nearby businesses as the headliner at Vancouver's breakout festival cancels last minute. We we're already sitting around there for about 45 to an hour and people are getting antsy, getting, getting pumped. Kirk Jacesta and his fiance were watching the chaos from the stands at the PE Amphitheater on Sunday after an announcement that rap artist Lil Baby wouldn't be coming out to perform. They started chucking things towards the backstage where he would have been hanging out. And then they started moving towards these tents where all the drinks were, tearing down the fridges, tearing down all the tents. Yeah, I've seen multiple kids walking around covered in blood just because of the all the broken glass around there. But the rioting didn't stop in the venue. There's been damage in the neighborhood. We're incredibly sorry about that. We are currently working with uh, the Vancouver Police Department uh, to figure out exactly where else has sustained damage. Laura Balance with the PE says around a thousand concert goers out of about 5,200 were responsible for the damage and that rioters intimidated staff. Vancouver police have arrested seven people for a breach of the peace. This has been a very um, shocking and, and um, traumatizing event for our staff team. Uh, we are very thankful to them. The rapper issued an apology on Instagram saying his body just shut down after weeks of performances and he had to cancel promising to make up for it soon yo i hope he comes back and i hope we you know get the show that we're all promised because honestly mega superstar like little baby that's what we're all there for right? yeah. and that's kind of like what was the whole reason why it went down the way it did festival organizers are now saying attendees can reach out for more information on partial refunds in vancouver kirjunos city news